Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Redneck channel. My name is Dave, and today we're going to be putting a clutch in an 885 David Brown. Uh, first task is we're going to get the muffler and the hood off, the fuel tank, and then there's a kind of a half cover over the clutch area that'll come off. It has a starter in it as well. And uh, when we get down to there, I expect we'll have to split the tractor here at the back of the frame. I'll get started at that and come back when we get dug a little further into the tractor. We've got all the exterior bits off the tractor now and we have it split and uh, we got pretty well into the heart of the matter now. So we need to take the ring of bolts off around the outside of the pressure plate and uh, we'll get that off of there. You can see the fingers are in bad shape on this pressure plate. Uh, we've got a new pressure plate and discs and bearings for it. It was the transmission disc that fell out on the ground and it is quite well worn. It's getting pretty close to the ribbon. There we are. There's the intermediate plate that goes between the transmission and the uh, PTO discs and uh, it goes in there just like a gear inside a gear, basically. It's all on teeth all the way around. You gotta be careful, there's springs all the way around to release the tension on the PTO disc. So you gotta be careful not to, not to lose the spring. And there is the PTO disc, and it's getting pretty well worn too. Put those springs carefully aside so I can clean the flywheel. We're ready to start putting back together now. We've already taken the flywheel off and changed the pilot bearing. Cleaned up the surface of the flywheel. Uh, release bearing. And I have a pilot shaft that fits the spline of the disc. It was a little small for the pilot bearing, but uh, I built it up with a little bit of tape and that should do the trick. Don't want to forget the springs that go in around that either. Now the intermediate plate goes in. There we go. And again, the pilot shaft for the uh, transmission disc. Okay. Yeah, this dowels on the. Uh, pressure plate. There we are. That line up with the uh, with the uh, flywheel. There we go. Yep, put the liner up now. When you tighten the pressure plate to the flywheel, just do it in stages around the uh, pressure plate. Don't tighten it all the way in one corner at once. There we go. <clears throat> now that we're sure we got everything tightened all the way around. We can pull out our pilot shafts. Should be all lined up, ready to put the uh, put it back together with the chassis of the tractor. 
Okay, we're ready to roll the uh, two halves back together. The important thing is to keep things lined up and do not pull it together with the bolts. You gotta slide it together so everything rolls right into place. We've got it out to within a quarter of an inch, so the pilot shaft is definitely in the pilot bearing. Uh, put some bolts to it, carefully draw it together. Now there's four bolt holes inside the clutch housing area here, which are just a treat. We found when we were taking apart, we had to lift the transmission cover about a quarter of an inch or a touch more in order for the bell housing cover to fit in. Reasonable free play now, and you know, clutch I think is decent. We'll be able to tell a little better when we get started up and try it out. Clutch on back in the 885, and everything uh, appears to be good to go. But I guess, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. squared away working again the way it's supposed to uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video found something useful as always like subscribe share and have a great day